everyone, Itane is here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Angels of Death, and we're gonna start episode four today. Uh, last time we were tried by the pastor slash reverend, we healed Zack, and now we're making our way to floor B1, where apparently some ugly truths are going to reveal themselves. Um, my phone is on loud, mainly because there's some changes going on at work, and even though I don't have to go in right now, because it's literally 9 in the morning, normally I would go into work. Um, it is actually also Thursday, but you guys will be seeing this on a Sunday. Um, I don't know when I have to go in, so I'm waiting for my boss to call me to tell me to come in so we can do the changes. Anyway, so if you guys hear my phone go off, I apologize, but it, this is like a once in a while kind of thing. So, let's get started. Oops. The help with my, uh, cracked window was open. All right. Tell us your secrets, darling Ray Ray. And yes, I record every day, Monday through Friday, and just post these on Sundays, so. Saturday and Sunday are my pajama days. Uh oh, don't go that way. Oh, oh God, oh God, think, think. Hey Ray, what are you doing? Uh oh. <clears throat> What's wrong, baby? Oh, is this your house? What's going on? Hey, what's wrong? You don't look so hot. You worn out? Okay. Whoa. all sewed together. Its arms are stuffed. The mouths and bodies are stuck together. Is this some kind of doll? Zack. <clears throat> Stop it. Anything could happen. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my god, Ray, did you do this? Are those your parents? Zack. Stop it. You've been acting weird lately. What are you losing your shit over this kind of stuff for now? What the hell? It's a stiff. Mm. Fucking gross. Please, oh please? Hurry up and kill me? Where the hell did that come from? Please hurry. What are you babbling about? Why the hell would I kill you here? We're not even outside yet. Plus, that's not the look I want to see on your face when I do it. But... This book. I remember. It's a Bible. God hates liars and the impure. Oh! Huh? Uh oh Stop screwing around. Yeah, come on, baby. What's wrong? Oh, no. <laughs> you just pushed the cord! <laughs> what the hell, dude? <laughs> and she's been acting so weird and panicky. She just now gets a despair face look on her face. It's no fun with her making that face at me now. Aw, you do care. The whole thing sickens me. Did it fall out of Ray's bag? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right, you can't read. These numbers do make sense, though. Still, damn, we're making annoying faces. What's that sound? What the 
hell? It's the toy that was making the sound. Just leaving me with stupid shit with all on edge. Oh! It worked! I'm rid of him! Now, now, don't you know that breaking stuff isn't the answer for everything? Don't hit the door so hard. Tired Ray will wake up from her nap. Oh, hi, Danny. I thought that Danny was just an illusion. Oh no, he was a losing for Ray, not... That's right, so he's still alive. Looks like the doors on this floor are quite sturdy indeed. Uh-oh. You touch a hair on your head, you're dead. No need for that attitude, Zach. I won't harm her. But now I have a full deck. Rachel's safety and how to find the way out of this building. Oh. Now use that worthless brain of yours to comprehend what I'm about to say, you illiterate fool. I mean to give you some clues and extend a helping hand. You stood complacently by her side, oblivious. Worst of all, she refers to you as her god, and you aren't even opposed to the idea. Fucker, rambling and talk like normal so I can understand. Now go and learn about her. This floor is the very essence of her. I'll let you decide then what's truly best for her. Depending on your choice, I'll get you out of here. Sounds Rachel, that is. What kind of half-assed explanation is that? She slumbers, hiding such lovely jewels. Until you know her, she shall remain this way. has cheap instant death written all over it. What a pain in the ass. I can't move. What do we have here? Looks like a whiteboard. Some sort of writing on it. Sure wish I could read. Guess I'll pick it up for the hell of it. The floor here squeaks like crazy. Oh no! Pit trap. Sturdy door is locked and also has no doorknob. Some sort of post used for hanging objects protrudes the center of the door. Oh no. Anything that lets me know, like, because my. I can't. It's so small. Oh, Jesus. Maybe I don't go that way yet. Maybe I just don't go that way yet. Can I go this way? Whoa! What's a pizza doing here? Can I eat it? It's not even chill, there's nothing good here. There's a bathtub full of water, but it's all murky. Looking at a mirror won't help, ain't nothing. No water. Is this a washer? How'd she open it? Okay. Won't even budge, plus it's as hard as a rock. Crap, I broke one. Crap, I broke one. Fuck, I have to go that way. God damn it. Alright. 
Oh, fuck! I can't... I might need a second pair of eyes. Zack? Can you come help me, please? I keep falling, because I can't see anything on the computer screen, because it's so small. Because the window is so small, so I can't tell there's anything that's going to make me fall. So if you could just help me remember... Shut up. Am I good? Yeah. Thank you. I forgot that OBS is all stretched on your guys' side, so I can see. I just gotta look at that screen, not this screen. Jesus, why? What was the point of me being here then? Something here. Come in. God damn it. What am I supposed to do? Alright, I'm looking at this screen now just because it is bigger. <clears throat> Can't use it. Okay then, so do I go back down and find something to use then? Pizza. Eat the pizza. Hot. No, oh, they're fucking hot. <laughs> What's that? A door. Is there a basement or something? It won't freaking budge. I can push, pull, hit, or kick it all I want, but it won't get me anywhere. It's locked. You gonna search for a key? What kind of pizza is this? My mouth burns, stings, and it's fired hot all over. Oh, is it? Oh, it's in the toilet, isn't it? Hey, something's inside. Oh, man. Sorry, dude. That's gross. I know. Maybe you can wash your hands real quick? Acquired a key. Are you kidding me? A key? What kind of dipshit would put a key somewhere like this? My hands, I gotta wash them. No water coming out. Here? Looks like the water's been shut off and only water is here. It's dirty, but it's better, wash better than washing them in the shitter, I guess. Well, at least he's a little hygienic, right? At least he cares. Whoa! Something bit me. What the hell was it? What's this? There's fish? For tiny fish, the sugar ups. Oh. Piranha? Now oh, look at my hands. They're dripping with blood. Oh, I guess blood's an improvement over the, that other shit. open. This leads downstairs. <clears throat> there we go. Here we go with another weird place. Now it's a basement. Everything's so damn complex. Where the hell can I find out about her down here anyway? <laughs> you sense the presence of animals on the other side of the door. Monster mutts. Back off, we'll beat your ass if you bite me. Ah, oh, don't like taking a beating, huh? You're good as dead. 
If it Hey, get out of the way, you dumb mutts. Ready for another round? Bring it. Sorry, puppies. Sorry, puppies. Sorry, puppies. Aw, oh, man. Stupid pooches wasting my time. Plus, those bites hurt like a bitch. Who uses a dog anyway? The guy on this floor definitely has a screw loose. This floor is the very essence of Ray, I was already said. What the hell isn't any of this supposed to tell me about Ray? She's fucking crazy, man. Man, it rakes no way I'm going in there. Okay, then. There's something up ahead. This thing's in the way. Whoa, what? It's a mountain of tacky junk. So this was locked too, huh? How do I open it? Damn it, I'm out of a lot of ideas. The box going open in this room makes no friggin' sense. Man, this place is more fucked up than my room. Wouldn't hurt to clean up every now and then. Damn, I guess there's no choice but to look somewhere else. Gotta go back to that room to do something for, for, about that eyeball freak, anyway. Alright, so now I gotta go back. Whoa! fall, I'd probably be a goner. You would do well to be more wary, Zach. Hey, Danny. Oh, Reverend! Although I expected not something like this would happen. Expect my knife in your belly? What the hell are you doing here? Oh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Don't ask why. Come now, what fun would it be if your story were to end here? That girl who paid no mind to my warning and threatened me with a knife. Rachel Gardner is with Danny, I presume. You were on a quest to take her back, were you not? <clears throat> so what? What do you want from me? Zach, could it be that you have learned to feel emotion through all of this? What's so fucking funny? Quit smiling. Wipe that smug look off your face. Ah, oh, forgive me. I didn't really intend the that ha. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. English hard. What do you mean came over you? Why the hell is everyone here so damn cryptic? And you're the biggest question mark of them all. Now what do you mean? It appears sophisticated matters are not your strong suit. Allow me to explain. Oh good. Ever since childhood, I have observed those devout to God. Some were beauteous while others were blind and ugly. At times, people would exploit God as an instrument to condemn non-believers and then pretentiously flaunt God's imagery. I suppose it always weighed on my mind. What would God truly think if he saw those people? Or so I asked myself. What? Could you be civil and heed what I have to say? Though earnest, you lack such consideration. Oh, well give it a rest, will ya? I told you to make it simple so I could get what you're saying. Very well. In short, I wish to see things from the Lord's own eyes by playing the role of God in this place. This building serves as a garden of sorts to put my idea to the test. Those placed on floor B7 are mere subjects to be monitored. An angelic intervention was required to test an exact justice on those brought here. So are you the kidnapper? Danny, 
Eddie, Kathy, and you. Although I suspected that you have qualities far removed from the others. You were exceedingly pure and necessary. Uh, huh? Bleh. Oh boy. So you do want to kill me. I am still speaking. Damn, dude, chill. Do not misunderstand me. It appears that you, who only desire to leave this place, are attempting to take Rachel Gardner with you. Therefore, I became curious as to why. So both of you now have become monitored subjects. Okay. Mm-hmm. Perfectly fine with me. I do not think you verbally are capable of conveying your feelings anyway. Besides, I'm not done monitoring you yet, so we shall see what comes to pass. See that you're watching everything? Seriously, Reverend? That was my original intent, though if it bothers you, I apologize. What bullshit? What the hell is an apology gonna do for me? Oh, come to think of it, solving the puzzle imposed by Danny may be somewhat beyond your abilities. Shall I lend you some assistance? Please? In exchange for my help, however, I should like to keep watch over your actions. Oh, sorry. Mm. So basically, you want to stalk me until you're satisfied. Okay. I wish to see how you intend to leave this place. What you are preserving to be, persevering to become, and who you really are. Okay. Well, before that, Zach, answer me this. How did you feel when Rachel Gardner called you God? Never ends with these people. It creeped me out. Is that so? Hey, do me a favor. Stop talking in riddles all the damn time. It's such a major pain in the ass to me. Every single one of you are just idiots to me. Is that so? Okay, tell me where to go. Hey. Hmm? Don't yes me. What should I do? Because honestly, I don't got a clue anymore. Nothing but locked doors everywhere, plus no keys. The only thing I got is just this plate. Zack, is that just an ordinary plate? I know there's writing on it, but I can't read it. Names are written on it. Names? The nameplate. Tis meant to be hung on the door of its owner's room, Zack. Try hanging it somewhere that comes to mind. I guarantee you will get a response. Should I just hang it wherever, then? Yes, that too may prove faithful. Know this. The name of a man and a woman are inscribed upon it. Conceivably, a couple in wedlock. Hell if I know. Alright, so now I gotta go back to that place where I was trying to do it. Not this room. Okay, so I gotta go down that one. Yeah! Peter! If I push it with this, I can get in. Whose room is this? Obviously the parents? Just a plain old room. A small key was inside the box. Can you use it to open the box in the basement? Oh! It sits on Christ, the ceiling's coming down, I gotta get out of here. Give me 
a break. Stop fucking with me, house. Whoever's in charge of this floor needs a lobotomy. Ah, shit. It won't open. What is this place to Ray, anyway? Got the key. Guess I'll head downstairs. Alright, let's mm. back over here. I might as well just keep looking at this screen for now, because I don't know if there's going to be cracks or anything. Okay. Yay, it opened. So it plays music when it opens. It's just a pile of goddamn junk. And it all reeks of kids' playthings. There's something inside. Ah, another plate with writing inside. Oh. Go to the other room now. Guess I'll get going. Hey, do I use this plate on the same one as before? So you found the other one. It used to be handled in the same manner as the one before it. What troubles you? Are you curious about the inscription? If you wish to know, then I shall read it for you. Never mind, don't read it. Are you not curious? Even if I was, I don't feel like having someone tell me. It's Rachel's! It's Ray Ray's. Ah. I know I've seen this place right in somewhere before. That's right. The papers that fell out of Ray's bag. It's a photograph, so this must be Ray's. What's these numbers for? It says Ray is 13 and mine's 20. Oh, so they're like seven years apart. I still ship it. I don't care. I still ship it. The spaces between the photographs and ages are our names. The first letter in Ray's name matches the first letter on the plate. And the next letter also matches the next letter on the plate. And the next ones. They all match. Well, what do you know? I knew I'd seen him before. So this means this is Ray Rooms, huh? What the hell is a room doing here anyway? Oh well, never mind that. I'm curious about what's next in store for me. Let's give him what's been going on. I'm just so excited. Um. But unfortunately, I am out of time for this episode, so I guess I'll have to wait until, um, tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. So tomorrow's Friday, so you guys will have to wait a week, I'm sorry. Uh, so thank you all so much for joining me. We feel like we're getting closer and closer, um, to the ending. Obviously we are, I mean, we're in episode four. Um... Oh man, I just feel so bad for Ray and Barnaby's like suspicious of her now and I don't want to be, so... Uh, you know. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Later!